Hey, 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 everybody, it's me, Mike Mnemonic. I probably sound different as fuck, don't I? It's probably this new microphone. I'd use the old one, but it took massive damage because it has an incredible... vulnerability to my foot from getting up to go to the restroom and I just leave cords everywhere. It's it, I know, it's retarded. I, I fucked up. I do that. A lot. But anyway, that is completely pointless. Let's get to this new game. I'm sure somebody's probably heard of it. Made by Codemasters. Yes, absolutely brilliant. And that uh, we get multiple language options. Get what, get, do you know which one I'm going to choose? If you guessed Espanol, muy no bueno. English. Motherfucker, I do speak it. Linus Spacehead's Cosmic Crusade. Yeah, that's that's our hero. I'm gonna turn this down. Cause that's loud as fuck to my ears. Yeah, there's a reason that you've probably never heard of this game if you, if you've never heard of it. It's because it's a sh piece of shit, kind of. But but I, I enjoy it for whatever reason. And uh, hey hey no demo mode no I did not push start. Okay. Now I push start. Yeah, this is a mouse game, partially. And uh, I'm going to point my mouse at our main protagonist, the only protagonist, our hero. Our player character, if you will, who's already bored. Meet Linus Spacehead. His super abilities include doing absolutely jack shit, and having pointy hair, and wearing horribly mismatched colored leotards with a cape. Yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of lame. And... I think he's a young kid. I don't know. Already disaster. Disaster awaits. Let's look at this teleport key. That's a normal thing to find on the I um, on the ground, right? Yeah, old Lino Town. That's where we're at, as indicated by our location on ometer thing. Let's 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 pick up this key. We we might need it. Good. We have something in our inventory. Let's look at the sign, which obviously says old Lino Town Postal Service. It seems like it's a postal building. Well, that's that's a good indicator when your sign matches up with what you think the building is. Let's 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 look at the door. What a nice door! It doesn't exist. I think you're able to see on the inside. Oh, but fuck the door! Look at this coin. Could it be monetary unit? Yes, it's a monetary unit. Let's pick up that piece of money. Cause that is valuable as fuck. Let's look at this teleport machine. Old Leno Town teleport machine. Yeah, use it at your own risk. Yeah, this isn't like Star Trek. I mean, you know, there aren't perfections with the teleportation mechanism things going on. I mean, seriously, it's like fucked up things happen when you use teleporters here. I, I don't know why you would think such an advanced society would be better at this, but w whatever. Let's 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 use this door. Welcome to the post office, everybody. This is the post office of the future. We have a Super Vend vending machine. And it says Super Vend on it. Which is, you know... That totally tells me what, what you're going to buy there. Look at this photo booth. Yeah, 30% larger Super Color photos. Because, you know, all... Male places have... Tourist photo booth thing. Whatever, you know. Yeah, let's, let's look at this pro lost property office. It could be useful. Let's try talking... To this sucker. Hi there. Your name's Linus. And, you know, asking if we have something to reclaim. Let's lie. Yes. What have you got? Oh, good. A joke book and weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, give it to me. Oh, snap. How good are we at lying? Yeah, how do we do that? Okay, no one wants the joke book, so we are scoring that. Oh, but the the cool stuff we have to, you know, go through epic journeys throughout the planet to gain, which we will do. First, let's look at this cosmic joke book. What's brown and sticky? Time's up. A stick. Lame fucking joke. Oh god, that was lame. Let's let's uh. Yeah, let's let's move over there and now talk to the inquiry's office. He's a very polite little fucker. And that guy's kinda rude. 
And, uh, hey, note paper and stamps. That's. That's. It. Yeah, give it to us. For free, please. Oh. Oh, I, I, I figured we were going to get rejected. That just blows ass. Well, let's look at the mailbox. Oh, it's. Can we. Can we. No, it's fixed to the wall. Can we use it for anything? Hell no. Why not post something? Well, we don't have money to buy anything to make a letter down, do we? We're broke. But at least our cape will perpetually move in the wind. Yeah. You might notice this little atomic arrow down here. That's, that's an exit. But we're not going that way. Fuck that. We have places to go. Like this? Can you tell what this is? This is the other section of the game. The annoying platforming section. Where all of Linus's superpowers are demonstrated for posterity. I just collected what I assume is like a, a cosmic candy bar or some bullshit. You get enough of those and you get like an extra life, which you'll need when you do shit like that. And as far as I know, there's not really a continue system in this game. And, and this game's really too long to not have passwords. You might wonder why I keep fucking that jump up. Unfortunately, Linus suffers from the same jumping disorder as uh, Simon Belmont from the first Castlevania in that you cannot direct him when he jumps. And let me tell you, brother, his jumps, they be floaty. Oh, they be floaty. I assume it has to do with the cape. And uh, I might be right. But I'm not I'm not 100% positive on that. I don't really know why I'm collecting the candy bars, because, you know, save states, I'm... Oh, you... You could best believe they're going to be abused. They're going to be abused. I was confused by that number four on the bottom left of the screen. I thought that was the mouse. That's my life bar. I, I'm a retard. Yeah. Yeah, I, I roll like that. Anyway. So you might be wondering, well, why are we platforming collecting candy bars if all they do is give us extra lives? What... What's the goal of this game? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, fuck the candy bars. We're, we're not we're not concerned about the candy bars. In case you did not notice. Yeah, don't touch anything. Like I said, Linus has no ability to absorb contact. Human or otherwise. I'm not exactly sure what these things are. They kind of look like... Easter eggs on legs. Happy Easter, you guys! Happy Easter! Yeah, we'll, we'll say that's what tied this in. I know, that's that that's totally not going to work. But whatever, whatever. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little section, because we're never going to see it again. The one good thing about this game, you get the platforming done, and it's over. Alright, we're at Cape Carnival! The Lukey Day Machine! 99% 0.9% payout, yes. And hey, 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 What? guess what? We, we've got a coin. We've got a coin, and we are going to just totally blow it on gambling. Let's do this. Yes, look at that jackpot. Fireworks and everything. We have scored. That was totally worth wasting my time. Let's look at the sign. Cosmic Bumper Car Races! Oh, that sounds awesome! Oh, a poster! An all-expense-paid trip to a car factory. Now that is something to get excited over. That, 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 not really, but, you know, wh whatever. Let's, 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 uh, look, let's stare at the attendant. Hey. That's against the law. Let's just actually talk to the person instead. Hi! I'm Linus! And we're gonna be told to roll up to win a trip to Detroitica. How do we do that? Well, we just enter a bumper car race. Let's do this. Let's go. Count us in. Yes, count us in. No, we're like six. Apparently, bumper car races on linoleum are are uh, hardcore as fuck. And, uh, yeah, you're, you gotta have a license. You have to be licensed to participate in that race. Dangerous. Check out the map! Plant linoleum. 
We'll be seeing a lot of this map, oh believe me. Believe me. Also, look at that Len Leningrad thing, it's, it's shaped like a gun down there. I didn't notice that until a few weeks ago. Anyway, let's let's go back to old Leno Town. Yeah! Yeah. Alright. I know the action is it's non-stop. At least the music's upbeat, isn't it, right? Can you even hear it? I I, I don't know. Sound is a mystery to me. Like many things. I'm going to just save right there. Yeah. Oh, see, that's that's what happens when you get extra life. It's quite the accomplishment in this game. What isn't is losing them. Losing them is too easy. I tell you. I tells you what. Oh, yes. In introducing our new slinky plate dancing whatever the fuck that is. I don't know. It's not like the enemies necessarily want Linus to die. It's just... You know, he's in the way. He's in the way. They have routines they follow. And he just doesn't know how to stay the fuck out of their way. See, look. I almost interrupted this jolly... What is that? That's, that ain't teal. That's, that's some other color. But that, that egg fang, you know. It, it's hopping around, skipping, jumping, playing. Amongst the... Retard bubble trees and the lilac skies. Whatever. Someone was on drugs when they came up with this place. You just know it. But yeah, this is the wilderness. This doesn't look foreboding at all, especially with the one-eyed scary monster. Look at it, it's scary. He shakes at the knees. That is terrifying. What do you do to terrifying scary monsters? You give them a fucking balloon. I s oh, that's right, we have to use the option to give. Because there's a difference between using somebody and giving them something. Using is taking advantage. Giving is being nice. And we're going to be nice. Because we are fucking Linus. The space head Avenger. With useless pointy hair. I mean, I don't know if that's a mask or if he just really likes his fucking moose hair care products. I have no idea. That's what happens when you get greedy for candy. Tragedy. Oh, no, no, no. You go back. You go back, sir. You go back and you finish what you started, which is trying to get through this bullshit level. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. I can tell Lyons is going to need some psyching up for this. Uh, 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 oh, yeah! Oh, no, you didn't make it. That's unfortunate. This is going to be one of them tricky, trickier jumps, I can already tell. Do I need momentum? Is that what I need? Is that what I'm lacking? Momentum? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. You jump, and then I jump right on the edge. Which is sometimes intentional and sometimes not. He... Here, trigger this guy. I'm assuming it's from all the candy. Like, he must be constantly wired. Okay, that was stupid, because now I've got to get back up, and that's probably not going to happen very easily, is it? Oh, no. We might have to eat that life, guys. Oh, yes, I do believe so. Yes, that's the punishment for wanting too much candy. You die. Fuck it. Hey, no. No, no playing in the trees. We have important shit to be doing. Namely, getting to the next section of this planet. There's more than one. Maybe. Well, of course there is. You know, we... We want to go to Detroitica. We, we saw about it on a poster. I mean, after you hear about the thrilling excitement of a car factory, how can you refuse not wanting to make that your entire goal in life? It's not like we need a job or anything. It's not like we have a wife and kids. I mean, hell, look at us. We're young. We live in the moment. We have no responsibilities. That should be obvious. We're hunting for candy. On floating rocks. And ridiculous monstrosities, which don't really intimidate, but they sure as fuck kill. 
when you're not just plummeting to your death on your own. Oh, okay. Hold on one second. I, yeah, there we go. Saving on the one-up loop is not really cool. I mean, you know, it, it kind of gets annoying. Just a tad. Oh, all this candy. This is not good for our teeth. I hope you have a toothbrush packed in your damn cape, young man. Because if you don't, oh, you will be getting the cavities. I know, I saw that too. That was stupid. Uh, oh, oh, look, he made it. Oh, he, he wants that candy. Oh, he got that candy bar. He got it. Good. Wait a minute. Yeah, alright. I'm not sure if that number's for candy bars or lives anymore. I, I don't know. Alright, nearly freezing pool. That must mean it's like at least 33 degrees here or something. I don't know. Oh, but it looks bleak. How bleak. <laughs> oh, man. It's a very, very, very cold body of water. Which we cannot cross. Well, apparently that's too much for him to do. It's so much so that, you know, that's going to have to be the end of the video. He, he's met his match. The very cold green Kool-Aid. And he looks like he needs a nap anyway. God, he yawns so much. So next time on Let's Play Linus Spacehead Cosmic Crusade. Stuff!